a hitman for the director of District 54A of the Great City, under an organization that brands itself as the PSO. My job is to target criminals who are either too rich or too powerful to take down using the law. Well, that was my job. Now, well, now, I'd like to have a little talk with the director, and just him and me. Have you ever woken up in the morning from a vivid dream, and you expect it to fade into nothing like all dreams do? But as the hours tick by, you realize you weren't dreaming. They're memories. Memories of things you've never done. Memories of seeing the sun. Memories of having a woman safe in your arms. Memories of a child calling you dad. They feel so real. So convincing. And then you realize, I know what they did to me. My brain is no mine. My brain is a machine, artificial. I'm a cyborg. Either they put this brain in me, or I had it the whole time, and they hacked it. They stole who I was, who I am, away from me. Stole my life, stole my family, stole the people I love, and... And I ain't letting nobody get away with this. Me and the director are gonna have a real good talk. And he's gonna talk, or he's gonna find out just what kind of machine he's created. All right, time to get to work. Gotta lay low. Gotta be careful who I talk to. Gotta avoid identifying myself. Thankfully, things are a little chaotic here. Seems like the small quake that happened during the train ride shook things up a little. There's works about, so shouldn't be too hard to blend into the crowds here. But they're gonna be looking for me, so I gotta keep moving. All right, got my ticket. Ticket scanners, this way. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so I just had a thought. If, if there's some points where you have to be importantly going to a different spot, then it's not too minor. Gotta find that. Freeman! Where the fuck are you guys? Gordon Freeman must be terminated. <laughs> sure. Man, that tremor really did a number on this place. Well, you know what they say. <laughs> the world is dying. And we killed it. You know what I say? I say there's only one thing I give a damn about, and it ain't the world. Now I can see a payphone up the steps to the arcade. Uh, but I see some cameras, too. Gotta keep my head low. At least the sound from the arcade should drown out my voice.
Alpha, too far. Come back. Oof. Look at all those fools. Young and old. Gambling their lives away. Hypnotized by the lights. Colors and sounds. It's like... It's like them machines have stolen a piece of their souls. Huh. I guess I know how that feels. All right, now. Who to call? They, Could I refer they. to PSO, perhaps? I've got it. I've got a tech friend who worked for PSO some years back. He's broken away now, and he's the kind of guy obsessed with security. Lives alone, stays online, covers his tracks. Real mysterious. But I need someone with inside knowledge. And an old-fashioned payphone is the perfect opportunity. Come on, come on, pick up. Uh, hey. Hello? Who's this? It's me. Listen. I need to know what's going on. What code have they got on me? I oh, thought you might contact me. I've already checked. Yeah, you got a code six on you, mate. Ah, oh, damn. That ain't good. Oh, where are you right now? What are you doing? I'm just down at the station. You know, the one below PSO HQ. What? Mate, you're crazy. Why are you there? Well, I'm going to have a friendly little chat with the director. Oh, I see. Uh, all right, listen. I know a way to get you past security, but you'll have to get your hands dirty. You know, be just like the old days. Fine by me. What's your idea? Well, you know, one of my favorite hobbies is spying on security systems. Well... I just happen to know there's someone who PSO is expecting to visit in the same station as you. He's in the Senator's Lounge. If you can draw him away from the public eye, perhaps you could, uh, borrow his identity. You know, permanently. Interesting plan. What about bodyguards? He won't have any. He's traveling covertly. He even drove himself here. He's not the kind of man to draw attention to himself, so nobody but the higher up should recognize the ID is even in the wrong hands. As long as you have his identification, you'll be allowed through security. No questions asked. That should be simple enough for you, being an agent at all. <sighs> all right, I guess that's my only option. Great, great. Just one question. What the hell happened? Uh, I'll tell you next time I see you. There should be an alley across the street from here, outside. <sighs> All right, meet me in the alley when you're ready, then. Good luck. Senator's Lounge, huh? All right, straighten up. Let's see. Should be just round the corner. Time to get moving. Protected here. Let's go. Let's see if I got me.
Well, there's only one person here. Looks like a real pushover, too. All right, let's put on a voice. Uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, there's a uh, problem with your vehicle. Please come with me to the parking sector. Excuse me, and who might you be? I can explain on the way, sir. In the meantime, uh, your vehicle is being used as a trampoline by some kids. You may want to move swiftly, sir. The police are on their way. A trampoline, you say? Show me immediately. Of course, sir. Ride this way, sir. <laughs> yodel, 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 yodel. E I O U. I always did feel cozy in the shadows. This guy, though. Looks like he's about to piss himself. Poor fool doesn't know what he's in for. Well, what's the meaning of this? This isn't the way to the... <laughs> All right. That's him sorted. Hmm, let's see. Coat. Briefcase. <laughs> nice hat. And his identification. This'll come in mighty handy. Hmm. Sort of resembles me, too. Convenient. Alright, seems like nobody heard that. Let's take a quick look in this here briefcase. Hmm. Seems like, uh... A shareholder, a PSO, maybe. And what's this? Project Grandfather. Well, don't mean much to me. I gotta keep moving. Let's see if security will let me through with this little gem. Perfect kid. <laughs> Looks like I'm a master at Hitman. <laughs> Very dramatic today for that gas. Oh, oh, oh come on. Come on. Hey. Ah, there we go. I noticed that. Captain about Waffles is a good room. actor. <laughs> yes, yes, he of, uh, is. Choking. Lots Never of doubt. Wait, do, 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 do you guys not remember oh, when he uh when he teabagged the Crimson Mech? <laughs> Did he? No. And still, <laughs> it was beautiful. Oh, it was yeah. beautiful. Was that, <laughs> I didn't even no. see that. Oh, I missed that now. Oh, you put, you missed that. I, I think. may be more of a pancakes man, but I won't deny the deliciousness. I wasn't even there. <laughs> Crunchy. This is my first time. Yes. Yes, well, fun fact. Mm. If you don't, if you don't put a theoretical, uh display of the senator's death, then a tour guide will cry. So does that mean you've been well, crying every time you've done you. it? So that means Trajan has been crying every time he's done this? Because it's like the first time I've seen someone dramatically do that death. On the floor. Mm. Don't worry, oh, next time we do this run. This place really <laughs> got shaken up. You can see the right. dog. Time to get fancy is, and put on another voice, away. just in case. Good evening, sir. May I please see some identification? Of course, here you go. Thank you. One moment, please. Hmm. 
Everything checks out, sir. Thank you. Have a nice day. Ah, uh, sir. Mm. One more thing. Due to recent events, we are performing bioscans on randomly selected individuals. Please step aside so our attendant can perform the scan. Bioscan? What is she talking about? Uh, this must be about the uh, cyber terrorist thing. I appreciate that, but can you randomly select the next individual? I was already delayed by the earthquake, and the director of PSO is expecting me. I do not want to make him wait any longer. Ah, there it is. Fear in the eyes. Gotcha. The d director. Oh, of course, sir. I shall randomly select the next person. Please enjoy the rest of your evening. Oh, that was a close one. So many cameras, too. Uh, I don't like this. Well, let's go see my insider. It's been quite a while. <laughs> Alright, here we are under this next one. <laughs> oh, does that mean this section the hell is the trade gym? Yes, so can. Does that mean the agent hears us exactly. directly now? It's really cool. <gasps> Oh no! Uh, I don't think find, that's uh, I, I still don't remember the number, so we're good. Oh. Everyone, quickly hide your The number is different every time. It's always randomized. Yeah. Oh, I was fuck. going to say. That How do you know I had sure. it? Nah. Okay. Um. Why are you scared. talking to me? Hi. Easy. Easy. I don't know. I don't I don't know. Need He's scared. Yeah. You seriously try to boop my very pointy no, metal nose? No, I just, oh, I just... Yep. Let me, let me do a bit. Mm, oh, yes, you're it's... very resilient to pain, and you, you Oh my goodness, sword. you're above. Uh, this is a sword. Neon lights on buildings, black as midnight. So many good. words that don't mean nothing. So much noise for the mind. Can't even hear yourself think. Uh, no wonder people are going crazy these days. Don't even know who they are no more. Mm, I see a couple of people roaming the streets. I don't really want to draw attention to myself. Well, if they see me, I should try to talk my way out of it. As long as I don't say or do anything out of the ordinary. I should be fine. Listen carefully, travelers. At this point in the tale, I have a quest for you all to complete. The rules are as follows. Your destination is across the street. In the back left corner, near a roller door, I will be waiting there for you. But on your way there, you must Hello. count the cans of melon shock scattered around the city streets. Make sure you count them. You may be asked personally for your count at the end, and the number of cans to find can change from tour to tour. Once your task is done, please come to the aforementioned rendezvous point. Additionally, there are people roaming around here that the agent does not wish to be disturbed by. They may be policemen, 
security officers, military personnel, or even mere nosy citizens. They will be carrying flashlights. Regardless, try not to act suspicious. Act natural. If you are approached by these figures, these NPCs, you may be questioned. Do your best to talk your way out of trouble. And if you see a friend in trouble, help them out. If you fail to convince them, they will issue you a warning. And this may affect the ending of the tour. Before going anywhere, can today's NPCs, Protag and Renegade, please come and stand below me. Change into your NPC avatars now. Friends, make sure you have their avatars fully enabled for this portion of the tour. This means you should be able to see their flashlights once they turn them on. You still want me to use a custom one? NPCs, please take your positions. The rest of you, the barriers will be down in a minute or so, and once they do lower, you may begin the quest. From this point, you will have ten minutes to complete your task, after which you must come to the rendezvous point. Yes. Uh, we got this. Uh, did you gather what we were supposed Good to Good luck, do? friends! Okay. <laughs> Hopefully you guys are as good at acting as Captain Waffles. Can you? 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 Yes. Remember the way you're gonna head straight over there. Captain. Little child. Excuse me, sir. Sir, little child. Where did little child go? Busy. Um, uh, oh, uh, that's four. That's five. That's six. Two. Today, because I'm tired. Yeah, uh, fair. Oh, the cans. Oh, damn. I count six. He's too empty for me, so. <laughs> My apologies. Next time I will look, time I will look, look out look tomorrow. Out. Yep, my count's seven. I count six. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I count seven as well. Me too. I count six. I've only right. seen yeah. three. I don't understand. Yeah, I've only I've seen, seen seven well. maybe four. Like Hard to tell at some I've point if seven. I'm counting one twice. I've seen Lucian. seven yo, yo, cans. Yo, yo, dude, dude. Lucian. You what counted seven cans? Yes. yes. I totally forgot my counts. I got fucking uh, old uh, back uh, by uh, someone. Uh, <laughs> 
I got I, I counted I've seven, counted three like, so far, so I I haven't I finished the four round. Cans. There are two over here. Oh, I see. I didn't realize it was on its side. Two. And it's very easy to not yeah. see. Okay, so that's four. One over there. One across the street. One on the bench. Wait, is there six? Or am I... And there's one on I'm the counting bench six. over there. So that's five. Hmm. And there's one more. Oh, okay. Six. I think there's, and there's one over here in the corner, so six. Mm -hmm. That's for me, six. I'm not sure if you count that one already. Yeah, I've counted six. I think I've counted six. So. Go and show him, because I don't remember the location. I'm pretty sure it's seven, though. I have nine it's really easy. Easy. It is, it is like I'm going to go with my account a side view. What? Make sure it's, it's like an actual I'm map. It's actually three-dimensional. I'm so glad I have a bed here. Am I blind? You guys screwed him over. One on the bench. One so you on just actually got pushed down to your bed. Everyone was getting in my face and I was trying to back up, but I don't have any physical space other than my bed right behind me. Could you not? Oh man, dude, I feel you. I got in my living room. There was one night. I ended up on the floor. It was a a fateful night. I'm super thankful that I have a bed right behind me because it's hardwood floor here. So it would really hurt if I fell down. You got people below or are you in a house? I'm in a house. Imagine like three o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm living in a house with other people, but still. I got my. I pretty much right. Counting. I'm counting eight. Yeah, I counted eight as well. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. It is, it is the property of the, the company I work for. So I decided to like jump into the house. If I leave this job, I don't think I'll have a house. But yeah, I can get affordable yeah. housing. Yeah. Get enough money to do school things. Scary, scary man. Scary, scary, scary man. man. Huh? No. It was. Huh? Damn straight. Oh yeah, yeah. I know a lot of people who work for colleges and they get. Are you? Not really. Yeah. Yeah. I work for a tourist attraction. Nice. Just very, very weird hat. Why are you staying in the middle of the road? Please. Oh, no cans in here. There never is. I always look through it and there's never one here, so... But I only count six, so... Yeah. Unless I'm not seeing one. Um, did you count the one on the bus stop? Yeah, that's the one that's the bench, yeah. There's something over here? No. So that's six. Okay, right? mm. okay. Uh, I've heard someone say seven. I've seen it yeah, either one, four one, or five, seven, but seven. I'm clearly behind. Yeah, huh.
Jacob Soli on Twitter. Uh, you have a good day. I'll see you on. Please don't cancel me. I want to keep on cheese. Go, go, go. Pizza. Was it on your team? You look very disappointed. Yeah, I was just like, I thought I was going crazy there for a minute. All right. I think the first one is. It's like, uh, it's like the big O. It's Dorothy. You're lying to me. Oh, I've, I've heard, heard that it is eight. We um, this is one of the first events. I don't know if you counted that one. I didn't do that. You did that. You were doing that. It was so Oh my god. Don't get caught. Well, now we know it's quite an experience that person I'm scared about that. Of course, that's fine. I heard the numbers. Someone mentions Genshin the Plum. She just she just tabs out. Completely. My brain has like already left. I wanted to say as well. I was going to say if anyone can check. That's why I told you. That's why I told you. I told you. But apparently everyone's got the first one. Hey, I don't mean that. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing over here? I walked over here just a second to look at something. I was curious about something. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they should be narrating now. Mm -hmm. So I would hurry back. Yep. I'm running. NPCs, please come forth. How many warnings did you each issue? Three, four, five, six, six. How many did you get? Well, uh, uh, <laughs> I gave a few, a few jaywalkers, and somebody left their child unsupervised. Uh, playing in the road, and I said that was not cool when I got, I left them with a warning. Oh. Oh, my, can how you please translate? <laughs> wow. wow. I gave you. Oh my I don't god. understand. <laughs> just, just look, look, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. Oh. I'm just doing the state for... God. I'm the, suing oh the state for the gear damage I have to pay for that mega fall. What are you saying? <laughs> Plus my yeah. six. <laughs> Way too much fun. Ten. Yes. And Akira just requested it's not way. But that is a record number. Yes, and most is. disappointing. There is a lot of bad the people. Goal is, the goal is zero. There was some people was hopping out of vents, crossing the gates, standing in the middle of streets. Those are all jaywalkers. The warnings must come from a conversation with them if they fail to talk their way out of confrontation. Well, that was the conversation. We was trying to get them to explain why was they in the middle of the street, why are they hopping through vents, why was they crossing the gates. Either way, it seems like it is higher than zero. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you, NPCs. Okay. Turn it off! Turn it off! Turn it off! Turn it off!
my mind. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Standing there in the dark. Looking paranoid as ever. Quite the bag he's carrying, too. Bet he's got some fun toys for me in there. Oh, man, it's so bright out here. I think I'm getting a sunburn. All right, seems like he's mad at me. Time to see if these cans will make a good enough peace offering. Joey. How many cans did you count? I counted five. Oh. All right. Whoops. No. We're oh, rooting for you, Chobi. Hey, uh, I found some more trinkets That's for you, too. I, I got five cans of melon shock for you. Oh, five cans, you say? Well, I mean, I guess you tried. <laughs> uh, anyway. Oh, nice coat. Was it much trouble getting here? Nah, not really. So, uh, about what happened. Hi. Would you like to hear a riddle? What? A riddle? The hell are you talking about? Oh, uh, I don't know. It came oh to me my. just now. Listen. A touch awakens it sinlessly. Rays giving energy to populated skyways. Ask ten slaves about vertex, magnet, empathy. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> or do I? I think I do. I barely I heard many of it. Trajan's voice cut out in the middle of that riddle. makes sense to me. Yeah, he cut out for me too. Yeah, cut for me. Anyway? Any ideas? Do you oh, what the is it, Thank you, Sheen. You're welcome. Did you. Agent, would you like us to suggest hey. an answer? Anyway, let me take the Senator's things off you. I will dispose of them properly. Okay. Keep the ID, though. It will come in handy. Listen up. Take this here comms device, stick it in your ear, and I brought two options for you. Take your pick between the two, ammo included. You can choose a briefcase gun or a revolver. Oh man, a weapon that gets through metal detectors would be real useful, but I generally prefer a revolver. What should I do? Okay. All right. All right. This is the moment. We have. Last time we got to the full hood. <laughs> yeah, last time we got to the full hood. Give me the gift gun. All right, guys. Everyone, listen to our army. I need to make a silent take down. And Lucian, well, Lucian too. has the same idea as me. It seems like. Okay. So basically, we need to we need to get back the senator's things that we just gave to the the uh, insider, being the briefcase, the coat, and the hat, and we also need to go unarmed. Yeah, yes. discussing. Our, our reason for going here. unarmed Basically, is because we're we are going to pose as the senator. Course. We are going to pose as the senator completely. So we're going to have no, a brief... No case. earpiece. So no weapons. No weapons. Yeah, no earpiece. No, no weapons. No and we need to take all... Uh, yes, all the senators. We, and we also need to give a valid reasoning. <laughs> we ditch the earpiece oh. as well because it's a vulnerability. Yes, and, it, and the senator does not have an earpiece, so we want to look like the center, it will so be, no weapon. Yes, it will be easier to blend in. It will be yes. easier to... Um, yes. Like, they're expecting the senator. The director is expecting yes. the senator. Therefore, looking like the senator will be mighty useful. Yeah, yeah just gotta look like a, a total could, bitch. Bringing the Sounds weapon could get us caught, and then it'll bring us a false sense of security. Exactly. We, yes. like, we're senator. gonna go completely... We're going to go into the building as the senator. Which means no weapons, no earpiece, Actually, but we are bringing the briefcase. Do you mind if I keep the senator's things on me? Briefcase, coat, hat, you know. Oh. You just like the well, outfit? Suit yourself. You Get it? 
No. But if you want to pass off as a centre, I guess that's fine, but don't get caught in any social situations. I suggest not playing the centre the whole way through, or they won't let you wander anywhere. Alright, makes sense. I also uh, appreciate your offer about the comms device, but I'm going to go solo this time. Can't have any distractions. Uh, alright. Seems a bit less wise to me, but hey, you're the professional. What do I know? But, uh, why would I go without a weapon? We do not because want to get caught under the metal detector. It'll bring up the bomb yes, detector. Um, yes. The senator's a very wimpy guy who won't care. The briefcase gone won't set off the detector. Well, it'll bring us a, a false guy. sense of security. We will think we're safe when we shouldn't. We should be on alert the entire time. He's so wimpy, I'm pretty sure he doesn't And walking in with two briefcases is already very suspicious. Agreed. It'd be weird to have two briefcases. You could just put the things in the briefcase and the uh, suitcase gun. Wait, there's no space. The briefcase, the briefcase gun, gun is just a gun. Sure. This looks before? like a briefcase. <laughs> Well, that ain't a good enough reason. Briefcase, gun, or revolver. Oh, we need something. We need to go What if you get chosen for a random security check again? Let me check the briefcase. A design ID allows me to have a firearm. It ain't an issue. I'd say the suitcase gun. Well, then it would be weird because we'd have two briefcases. Oh, you're trying to not I mean, have a gun. I, I think we should. Yeah, yeah, I just like having the gun then because I think. I mean, I, I think, think we should take the briefcase, briefcase gun because last briefcase. time we took the revolver, no, we're already we all know what happened. We're taking the senator's briefcase. It's weird. Both. Or it's fine. The briefcase gun and the revolver. If the senator's allowed to carry a gun, why not just take the revolver? Oh gosh. If you want to, apparently it's not an option. Then you shouldn't bring two briefcases. Or we need a better reason. That ain't a good enough reason. Let's take a vote. Oh, we'll take Stand one. on this side for revolver. Stand on this side for briefcase gun. I think. What about you? Do we have to? Revolver would seem just, less suspicious because uh, a briefcase gun within a right? briefcase would just make it seem like you're trying to we hide something. If you're allowed to take a gun, when I just take it? Okay, sadly. I mean, you are allowed to. Apparently, he's allowing us to, allowed allowed to give reasons. I swore so... we were allowed to. We've done it before. We've done it before. We have done it before. I don't remember our reasoning. Since then, we haven't. What was yeah. our What was our reasoning when we went in on our went in on our briefcase gun? To keep the contents of the briefcase. I guess we're gonna need to go back and try and figure that out. Briefcase gun outnumbers. Aren't we a powerful enough weapon? There's a lot of, a lot of, like, a lot of actual VIPs will mm. That was the actual answer. Like, a we, a we could handle <laughs> the director by ourselves. Oh, like, that was the... We are the weapon! Fucking hell! But it's... We that was our reason. We, we are the weapon. Ourselves. I agree with that. Mm. Well, but he didn't take that one time when we tried that. Like, the, the answer is... Like, like, that's not a good enough no, reason. Right. We kind of... Go we forgot, we forgot, we forgot it. We forgot. Hopefully my ID is enough to persuade security that my uh, firearm won't be an issue. Alright, there we go. But yeah, it was, we are the like weapon. We are the weapon. We don't need a weapon to oh, kill wait, the director. Oh wait, never mind. We, we are the weapon. Good luck with everything, and remember no, there was no place to hide once. This is all over. We'll, we'll try again. Huh. How could I forget? We should just... <laughs> Charming as ever. Just be careful. Yeah, you too. And he's gone. Alright. Seems like I'm all set. PSO HQ is this way. Before our next attempt at the agent, we should draft I... up as many reasons we can think of. I don't think 
get through the melon across the street, across the street, without getting caught at all. Of the story of and the story Wait. Right. Wait, hold up. We got ten freaking Wait. warnings. Oh, did I, I think I got something. Yep. I think I figured something out. You're correct. High what? score. What? Uh, do you... Actually. Oh my God. Hmm. Hmm. I just came up with a really that dumb. Like the... I came up with a really dumb idea to how to beat the quest. Oh, Tour what is the dumb idea? Well, just everyone literally pose everyone as a tour group going through the around the city. And everyone just silently through the trash can. Hey, it's blocked by a trash can. I was gonna say something about that plum, but never mind. In this, in this domain. Damn it! I was gonna say well, something about it. I think the NPC is blocked. We explain. Tour guides have stopped people. <laughs> tour guides have, or the, God, the NPCs have specifically stopped people because they were in large groups before. Oh, okay. uh, uh, the senator is human, therefore. There is no way that if we're the lane. senator, so we go into the human lane. So but we there's, yeah, there's no way. I, we literally I can go to the VIP lane. We are right. the senator. Alright. So. You must be joking. You okay, dude? You're scratching out like a TV. <laughs> He's shitting between lines. <laughs> Here we are. And damn, looks like they upgraded. So many guards armed to the teeth. Figures. Well, at least I don't recognize any of them. I should just be able to present the senator's ID. But wait. Should I take the human lane, the cyborg lane, or the VIP lane? I know I'm a cyborg, but can they tell that? Uh, VIP. The oh, senator yeah, is human, human. Yeah, human. And, yeah. and the senator is also seem like the kind of guy to avoid attention. So human. why would he go in the why would the human. senator go in the VIP lane? Cyborg. He'd want to go in the human lane to attract as little attention as possible. Wait, actually, that makes sense. No, that ain't gonna work. I only have the senator's ID on me, and I'm pretty sure he ain't no cyborg. I've only got one choice: VIP. Here we go. VIP. <laughs> Oh, okay. We needed to explain that the the pinners are fucked here, remember? God fucking damn it, I keep forgetting that. <laughs> Identification, please. Alright. Guess I don't have no choice. And don't say nothing. Thank you, sir. And your business here. Ah, uh, Slag, he wants me to talk. Uh, I'm here to see the director. He's expecting me. I'm very late already. Hmm. Guards giving each other looks. I don't like this. All right, sir. Swipe your card, please. Just swipe the card. Come on. I'm an agent. It should be easy. Thank you, sir. Move on through. Finally, time to step through. Damn, scanner's going off. Excuse me, sir. Please, place any weapons or equipment on this surface. Mm, guess I don't have a choice. Here, I have this revolver. Personal protection. Mm, they're looking at each other again. Come on, just let me through. I just want to have a nice chat with your boss. That's all. All right, sir. That's not a problem. Everything is in order. Here's your firearm back. All right, I'm in. There's no going back now. No, I did not like that. Not one bit. Something is off. But I gotta keep moving. 
they might catch on if I linger. Gotta find the director. Alright, here we go. Oh, I really hope something different happens this time. I doubt it. Hey, Dally Cole. I'll hope it's lost. It you hope oh, we got the we got the, the bad ending last time. <laughs> yep. So I, I think we're gonna we'll get the bad ending again. I'm hoping at least something is slightly different. Oh, yeah. May end up in the same bad, bad ending. Let's thing, see but if we, can learn we can at least see if it our yeah, actions may have nudged things a What have we done different to get a different ending? We've posed as the senator this time. Yeah, we didn't have oh, the senator's right. hat in. Oh, yeah, yeah, case. So this is stated higher ups are gonna know who we are. Well, well, we'll if, see. If, if, Anyone if who knows the senator is gonna the know who we off, are. We gotta keep him from taking the stuff off. In my opinion. Let's just hope the senator doesn't have any friends. Cosplayer. Mm. Oh boy. Oh, oh, nothing happened there. It's because we don't have the earpiece. Just like last time. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, talking yeah. to me, the other guy. Hmm. This room reminds me of a gusher. Carbon nanotube sensor. Oh, that's why it's in the public sky? security office. I don't know how I didn't figure oh. that out. It is huh. gonna yeah. Be... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not ashamed. I didn't figure that out either now. I think I only figured it's it out like a couple weeks ago, too. Yeah, probably. Things get by me sometimes. Wait up. There are people over there. By that big black and gold door. Looks like some sort of small meeting. Maybe the director's there. Let's see how close I can get while staying in the shadows. The entity is secure, correct? Mm hmm. Report just came in. The boss's new ether cage worked like a charm. That means harvesting can begin. I'll let the team know to notify transport so we can start powering up the project. Not yet. We need to wait for the boss to get the all clear from the director first. <laughs> Since when do we wait for the director? It's not against protocol to start redirecting power between internal systems. Mm, you've got a point. And I suppose we can let Transport know that they can go ahead with the next step, too. Just try to be subtle about it. Well, that's weird. Secured entity. Harvesting. Redirecting power. What's going on? I wonder if it has anything to do with what they did to my brain. Maybe I'm a... An entity. And they went inside, but they used something to get in, so I'll just keep moving to reception. Okay. I'll send you the picture later, Alpha. Okay. There you go. Like all the pictures where you're in. If you want, I can send it. Yeah. Can you send them to me? I'm not even standing up. <laughs> I'm too lazy. Bro, are you swimming in here? Oh, for real? Future. Revolution. Neo-human. What a pile of crap. Who do they think they are putting this in people's heads? It's all propaganda to me, and I don't buy into it. Not one bit. Not anymore. Hold on a minute, there are way too many guards down there. Seems like... Hmm, someone tipped off security. I can't risk being ID'd and being discovered. Gotta go around the long way, I guess. Let this cool off for a bit. Maybe... Find some other way to blend in. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, the wind. Uh, 
Aha, uh -huh, here. Okay. I'm gonna turn. And so we arrive. <laughs> Suddenly I have Mission Impossible playing in my head. <laughs> okay. He hasn't taken off the stuff yet, so... Well, we did pick... A At this time, friends, create a mental map of what choices we made, where we are, and what choices have probabilities ahead of us. I feel like we're on to something if that's being mentioned. Does seem like a good sign. Should we try to continue posing as the senator or not? I think that's what the plan is. Alright then. We probably should. We'll need to take a seat. I think at this. Uh, I think the tour guides are just getting yeah, sick of us being stuck in the story. I'm gone too. <laughs> It appears that our tour guide is preparing for something new. Oh, Eliza, oh let's fudge nuggets! Mm. Or will you die again? <laughs> Probably one of you is right. It was one of you! That is my metal taste. Seems like everything is normal in this part of HQ. Alright, command room is just down the hall. Ah, uh, excuse me. Yes, you Are you who we're expecting? Hmm? Oh. Yeah. Two guys in suits, sitting on the couches, looking at me. We're ready to start the evening, but we're waiting on an executive. Oh. Hmm. Maybe they're waiting on the senator. I don't want to spend time talking to these suits if the director ain't gonna be here. And sorry, I'm not sure who you're talking about. I need to keep moving. Well then, fine. Be seeing you. That's weird. Must be investors or something. Maybe I can sit behind this corner for just a minute and eavesdrop. But doesn't actually... I'll tell you this much, at this rate, neither project will receive funding from TEKI. Mm, the data they gave us for the new data line model seems very ambitious. I remain skeptical, but we'll see what is presented to us. What of their other projects? Project Grandfather. Yes, I have heard about it, but it seems like... Uh, science fiction. Implanting one's ghost into a machine powered by an interdimensional entity. It is so very ridiculous. And yet PSO Labs is serious. I, for one, am curious to see which of these two projects he endorses more. I get the feeling the vision here is divided. That is their problem. If they cannot provide what they promised, then we will not provide the money. Indeed, let's just see what happens when the senator and executive show up. Hmm. What exactly is going on here? Dataline technology. They use those things to hack machines. Well... If they're waiting on the center, they're going to be mighty disappointed. Seems like there's some funding issues and one of the scientists is trying to do his own thing. 
I do remember Project Grandfather from the senator's briefcase, though. I wonder what it means. Well, let's open it up and take a look. Hmm. Seems like the senator was coming here to decide between funding the new deadline model or joining Project Grandfather. There are a lot of other shareholders, too. All these big companies. T.E.K.I., E.I.S.P., Waffle Robotics, Xenon. This is big stuff. It doesn't really have anything else useful, but it seems like there's some fierce competition going on. What worries me more is what they said about hacking ghosts. Maybe. Just maybe I was wrong. I thought my brain was artificial. I thought they were hacking it electronically, but these deadline things can hack actual ghosts. But if that's the case... Maybe I'm the exception. I gotta find the director. He's got so much more to answer for. Okay, that changed very little. <laughs> we go. Yeah. Yep. Uh, well, maybe I was almost excited. Not, maybe maybe we can maybe, maybe we can loan the, the, the briefcase stuff now. He's yep. here. We can have the briefcase gun. Well, what's going on in here? I see a... a man standing in the corner of the room. He's not supposed to be in there. He's not supposed to be here at all. There's a man strapped to the table with two men in lab coats. And it looks like they're gonna operate on his arm. From this angle I can see a drip going into his arm. Uh, it looks like they've got something... Something blue going in. But it's got this weird glow to it. And it looks sorta... Sparkling. I wonder what that stuff is. No, focus. You didn't come here to watch the lab assistants do their thing. Uh-oh, they noticed me. Gotta go. Oh, here again. He's a recurring character. Oh, we're here again. And he fucked with the core gun. Wait, uh, which gun do- Oh, god. I knew we should've went with the briefcase gun. So, this will be the exact same. Do we still have a revolver? Unless we can somehow intervene and make it- Yeah, we still have it. Yeah. We have the revolver. I'm gonna, like, write a script on reasons why we shouldn't take any weapons. Yeah. Hopefully we can use that next time. <laughs> Well, well, well. Look who we have here. Sitting right here in this very chair. With nobody beside him. And he hasn't even noticed me. It's the director of PSO Labs. Trusty revolver is out. Locked and loaded. And ready for answers. Don't. Move, or I shoot. Yeah, I see him peeking. He sees my face. He sees the gun pointed at his head. He recognizes me. Now, put your hands where I can see him and listen carefully. 
tell me what you did to me. You put a cybernetic brain in me, didn't you? Ah, so you made it. No funny talk, just answers. Very well. Uh, I don't know where you got the idea that your brain is cybernetic. It's a real brain, and we... Real brain, bore. I'm not lying to you. We can not only hack cybernetic minds, but we can hack ghosts. Consciousnesses, as well. This means that... Well, it's quite simple. You are my pawn. I want my old mind back. Change it back. Your old mind? No, you misunderstand. You don't have another mind. You were connected to a data line for the first years of your life. Wait. What? Then, where are these other memories coming from? Memories that don't match up. Memories? Why is it looking at me like that? It's worse than I feared. I don't know what you're talking about, but look, we can help. Just calm down. Put the gun down, and we can go right now and run a diagnostics. There's clearly some interference going on. It could even be rival technology. Just come with me, and we can... No. I pulled the trigger. Big noise, kick back, point blank, bullet through the skull, and before anyone sees me, I'm out of here. A ghost. This is America. I think. I'm glad someone got that. Big iron on his hip. I got it. Way to go, G. Like, shoot him. Maybe now we did act like the senator. <laughs> well, trigger I happy, still like the senator. This is so fun. <laughs> the agent. We're, we're late to our meeting. I love it. Yes, we're late to our meeting. <laughs> Excuse me. Hopefully, next time we can actually join in the meeting. Agent, put the gun away and go to the meeting. <laughs> Ooh, the alarm is going to go off any second. I should be able to get into the elevator before lockdown. <sighs> Man, I did it. I didn't really get answers, but I got my vengeance. He got what he deserved for screwing up my life. He got what was coming to him. Mm, wait. What's that noise? Ah. Oh. Slag. Guards from upstairs, guards from the left, guards from the right. How did they know? Wait. Who's this guy among them? White coat. Gold badge. Is he... one of the head scientists? I'm done for. But... maybe I can go out with a bang, take this guy out with me. Director was just going to lie to the cows came home anyway. This guy, I'll probably do the same thing. I don't trust any of these worms. Come now, agent. There is no need for violence. Please, lower your weapon. Stay back. Stay back or I shoot. This will not accomplish anything, Agent. You are here for answers. I have the answers you seek. Come with me. Hear me out. And then make up your mind. You have nothing to lose at this point. So why refuse? Wait a minute. Why haven't the alarms gone off? Something's not right. All right, fine, but I keep my weapon. If you insist. Come. No. 
Sounds gonna be interesting. Let's do report. this Texas style. So, I don't know. Bad ending number two, maybe. Yeah, looking like it. Let me in. Let me in. Shut up, you. Yeah. You already told you now. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Let me in. I beg Let you. Let me in. Oh, the black and gold door. <laughs> this is it, Agent. This is what I have been waiting for. I am very glad you made the decisions that you made. I'm very glad indeed. You see, I have been hoping your kind would appear. And I am thrilled to be proven right. Please, allow me to show you something that I've been working on. Uh, yep, here we go. Try not to use any lights, please. Mm -hmm. No avatars with lights. lights. No, no lights. lights. Mm, sounds like the Resident Evil movie. lab music. Hey. Where's the tunes? We can make more. Captain Muffles, you might want to stand right here. Hmm? Yeah, it's Metroid. It sounds like Game Boy music. Uh, Captain Muffles, yeah, it's 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 Game Boy Fusion. Yeah, Game Boy Fusion. Okay. Oh, Captain Muffles. Muffles. It is Metroid Fusion, Jay. Uh, yes, that's our thing. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is nice. Shh. Shh. So. This is his lab. Man, it's so dark inside. Uh, what is that shadow in the middle? Is I this the project? Bad. Is this what those men in suits were talking about? Welcome to my lab, Agent. This is Project Grandfather. And this is my creation. I see how curious you are, and I will explain it all to you. You are, after all, worthy of this knowledge. Recently, a Class 7 entity descended into this realm. I anticipated this event, and invented the ether cage, with which I caught it. It was a docile thing hoping for friendship and compassion. Most foolish. Now, it is an energy source, and its power will be drained and infused with this machine you see here. This power will be enough to last immeasurable lengths of time. Something ain't right. Wait. Why is he holding the director's keycard? How to get that? But I hear you thinking, what is the purpose of this machine? This body of mine, this mortal body, it is so very weak, a fragile thing. It has almost run its course. It was difficult enough making it to this particular point in time and space, costing me all but my very being. And so, I thought, if I can hack a consciousness, can I download it? Can I turn it into data? Can I transfer it? Early tests proved encouraging. And after much trial and error, and some unfortunate collateral damage, this is the final product. What? And... 
it's this the thing is some sort of bronze machine. I must thank you for getting the director out of the way, Agent. I couldn't bring myself to kill someone in cold blood like that. I truly wanted him to approve of the final stage. It would have made things so much simpler. But this is our current reality. And this is where the waves meet. Thanks to your recklessness and selfishness, Agent. The decision has been made for me. His key card through this machine is the final stage. <laughs> Picture. Oh no. <laughs> Trade you, baby. I'm gonna punch you. <laughs> oh, everything is shaking. What's this pressure in my head? It feels like a lead weight pressing against my mind. I can't move. My fingers are locked, my knees, my arms and legs, everything. Ah, damn, what's going on? Wait, I can see he's he's climbing into the machine. The tubes are filled with something. Something blue and shining. It feels strange looking at it. What does it mean? I, his voice ah, is coming from inside the mech. How is it so loud? Blossom, O oh fallen seed, and draw upon thy hidden power. Grant unto thee the power of the glorious titan of destruction. Give me your strength. Yes. Yes, this is it. It's working. I feel the power coursing through me, and I am becoming a part of my creation. A part of the bronze mech. I have the power of a god. Ah, and now for the most important step. Agent, you are more useful to me than you realize. Do you know the power you wield? Do you hear the whisper in your mind? The memories you experience, the constant, almost immeasurably brief moments of deja vu, the feeling that you've been here before and done this already, the sensation of being watched, of being guided and protected. Do you think... This is all a simple coincidence. No. The more times this happens, the stronger I get. Your resistance is a waste of energy. I feel you struggling with your every bit of essence. We are now but one. Behold the power you possess and of which you are so ignorant. I will one day ascend from my prison beneath the Yggdrasil and I will transcend this reality. With the power of the ancestors back in my hands, it is time. She belongs. With me. She? Ah, uh, Agent. I feel your resistance. I feel your pain. But it is too late. 
It is done. sideways as the agent topples to the ground like a doll. His body is no longer his. His mind is being pulled from it, devoured by the bronze mech's power. In his final moments of consciousness, the agent sees multiple experiences overlapping Scenarios folded on top of one another again and again, twisted around, always moving, always changing, always shifting. An ocean of possibility. And amidst this ocean of ordered chaos, drifting, defying its very surroundings, is the bronze mech. The agent is aware of this machine, this strange machine is shifting somewhere else, a particular point in time. The view focuses in a green valley, a city, a cathedral, up a long flight of stairs, and up another, to a sunlit, empty room. And the bronze mech projects an entity into the middle of the room. And there is somebody else here. No, just a face. Looking in from another time, another place, a young woman, and they see one another. The entity and the woman see one another. The agent feels a tug at the very back of his consciousness, a sharp pull, and the last of his energy, the last drop of awareness is torn from what remains of him as the entity launches an attack through the forbidden window at the young woman. The agent has been reincorporated with his origin and the agent's power is taken back by the bronze mech. My friends, travelers, welcome to the bad ending of the agent. <laughs> Uh, uh. Thank you. Well, oh, I gotta bounce now, so I must. I'm gonna bounce around, but I'll be at the after party, maybe. I'm going to pass you over. Good night, Jim. Into the chaos. Right, bye. Our main tour guide, Sheen, for some brief announcements. This really wasn't that great. It didn't go well. No. I'll have a look next time. Yeah. We tried, boys. We tried. Hey, Jim. I like you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> My friends, your attention, please, for just a moment yeah, before you depart. Everyone, congratulations on unlocking the bad ending of the agent. A step forward from the neutral ending. My friends, 
do not <laughs> applaud just yet. No. Reserve your claps for the one, the only, Trey Jim. My friends, my friends, did you know that behind the scenes, Trey Jim's works diligently to impress you constantly improving every single part of his tour and his voice acting constantly asking if there's anywhere that he can improve upon my friends we work hard for you trade Jim especially now then a few announcements we are VR travelers we create immersive story-based tours with original writing beautiful worlds and wholesome team effort my friends we do this for fun we do this for free however we do ask one thing in return everyone here i kindly ask that you join our discord the discord id is my status or Trajim's status in VR chat. Joining the Discord allows you to find a growing community where we post our photos and comments from each tour. There, we discuss the alternate endings to the stories and the secrets of our headquarters, as well as our other mysteries. Finally, if you really enjoy the work our team puts into this, and you want to help us write more stories and create more beautiful worlds. Kindly support our Patreon. Our tours are free and will always be free, but our Patreon is only $3 per month and joining grants you access to clues to all of our mysteries, behind the scenes features, eligibility to play the character roles in our tours, such as the NPCs from tonight. There is a private Discord channel that is unlocked for you. you should be an Another perk and bonus. As you get to participate <laughs> in a community written tour, or the CWT for short. The CWT is a writing project where this community together creates and writes a tour that will eventually be performed by the VR Travelers team. Us tour guides have not read the script in many, many months, and this is a project controlled completely by the community outside of the tour guides. <laughs> if you want to join that writing project, mm -hmm. feel free to ask one of the lead writers, such as Lucian or Dolly or Yulish here. Plumbles. Plumbles. Plumbles, Dolly, yes. My friends, thank you so very much for joining us. I understand, we understand that during these years, quarantine continues and life is hard. Many of us give all of our willpower to hold it together. And that's exactly why I started doing this. And that's exactly why Trey Jim and Rendizo joined me as tour guides to create VR Travelers. To be a bright spot in the world today where we can escape and branch out our empathy and our creativity where it is needed by others. My friends, this is the end. We'll open a portal to the after party in a few minutes. The floor is yours. Okay, nice. No, it's no, I don't I'm gonna ha hop off. Yeah, me too, man. Yeah, tricky cat. Same. Uh, well, it's I'll see you guys. Yeah, I think it's probably the same. Yeah, it's seven for me.